hello everyone uh, in today's video we will see how to determine the index properties now index properties are used for identification and uh, to classify the soil into different group for identify the type of soil and to classify the in, to classify the soil into different categories we are using these index properties now index properties means we determine water content specific gravity density particle size distribution consistency limit there are different uh, index properties now first we'll see how to determine this moisture content or water content there are different methods the first method is oven drying method the first method is oven drying method clear and this is laboratory method and it gives uh, accurate uh, readings and uh, the remaining methods are the uh, second one is sand bath and third one is alcohol method these two methods are field method but we don't get accurate readings and fourth method is calcium carbide method again this is a field method but in this method the water content is determ determined based on wet weight of soil determined based on wet weight of soil clear and next pyknometer again this is a uh, laboratory method and next radiation method field method and in this method we will get uh, accurate readings or accurate water content now first we will discuss this oven dry method this is the most accurate uh, accurate method for determining the water content in this method we keep the soil sample in an oven which is man maintained at a temperature of 105 degree centigrade to 110 degree centigrade clear we take one container and put the soil sample into that container and this container is kept at in in an oven which is maintained at a temperature of 105 degree centigrade to 110 degree centigrade for complete drying Sandy soils take about 4 hours and fat clay takes about 14 to 16 hours. Clear? Different soil take different time to completely for complete drying. Clear? Coarse grain soil it will take less time and fine grain soil it will take more time for drying. Usually the sample is kept for about 24 hours in the oven so that complete drying, drying is assured. This soil sample is kept in the oven for 24 hours to assure complete drying. And see here, we are maintaining the temperature between 105 degree centigrade to 110 degree centigrade. If we maintain more temperature here, more than this 110 degree centigrade, what will happen? It will change the chemical properties of soil and it will change the crystalline structure of clay particle and here our aim is just to remove the water content from the voids we don't want to change the chemical properties here therefore 105 degree centigrade to 110 degree centigrade temperature is sufficient to remove water from the voids for organic soil uh, we maintain lower temperature for organic soil in which or the soil in which gypsum is present, uh, present for that type of soil we use lower temperature below 100 degree centigrade uh, we maintain 60 degree to 80 degree centigrade temperature in an oven for organic or the soil which contains gypsum now we will see how to conduct this experiment now first take one container and determine the empty weight of the container and take that weight as w1 weight of an empty container and take that weight as w1 now take wet soil into this container and note down the weight and take that weight as w2 now take this container and put this container in an oven which is maintained at a temperature of 105 degree centigrade to 110 degree centigrade and see here the lid should be open here the container lid should be open here don't close the lid otherwise the water will not evaporate clear when you keep the soil sample into this container uh, this in this oven the con this container lid should be opened 
clear after that after 24 hours take this container and first close the lid now this is our container first close the lid after 24 hours and keep this container in an desiccator until it reaches the room temperature after that note down the weight w3 this will uh, this will give, give you the weight of dry soil clear take that weight as w3 now we know that water content is equal to weight of water water content is equal to weight of water divided by weight of solid how you calculate water content weight of water clear this formula weight of water is equal to w2 minus w3 because w2 is weight of wet soil plus container and w3 is weight of dry soil plus container if you take the difference of these two values w2 and w3 we will get weight of water clear next weight of solid will get by this formula w3 minus w1 clear now put the values here and we will get water content and this water content is multi multiplied with 100 to get that water content value in percentage now the second method is sand bath method this is a field method for determining a rough value of the water content we won't get accurate uh, value here accurate water content value we will get a rough water content value in this method the container with the soil is placed on a sand bath this is our sand bath see this is our sand bath and these containers are kept here and in this container wet soil is there clear the soil is placed on sand bath the sand bath is heated over a kerosene stove this whole sand bath is heated over a kerosene stove clear the soil becomes dry in 30 or 60 minutes the water content is then determined from the above equation we, again we use same equation again we use this same equation clear initial weight final weight and after drying again we will take this w3 weight we use same equation in this method also but here there is one difference here in this method we are not able uh, it is not possible to maintain the temperature here in this oven dry method we are maintaining the temperature between 105 degree to 110 degree centigrade but here in this sand bath method it is not possible to maintain this temperature clear this is the drawback here and it will ch change the chemical properties of soil and the crystalline structure of soil and the next method is alcohol method this next method is alcohol method Again, this is a field method. The wet soil sample is kept in an ev evaporating dish and mixed with sufficient quantity of methylated spirit. The dish is then properly covered and then mixture is ignited. The mixture is kept tied by a wire and since there is no control over the temperature, it should not be used for soils containing large percentage of organic matter or gypsum. The next method is calcium carbide method. In this method, 6 gram of wet soil sample is placed in an airtight container and is mixed with sufficient quantity of fresh calcium carbide powder. Fresh calcium carbide powder. The mixture is shaken vigorously. The acetylene gas produced by the reaction of the moisture of the soil and the calcium carbide exerts a pressure on the sensitive diaphragm placed at the end of the container. The dial gauge located at the diaphragm reads the water content directly. However, the calibration of the dial gauge is such that it gives the water content based on the wet weight of the soil sample. Knowing the water content based on wet weight, the water content based on dry weight can be found. 
from this formula from this formula wr is water content based on wet weight of soil sample and with the help of this wr we can calculate water content based on dry weight of soil in this method we are mixing the wet soil with calcium carbide the water presented in the soil sample it will react with calcium carbide and one acetylene gas is gas is produced and this gas it will create some pressure on the sensitive diaphragm which is fixed in the container a tight container due to which we will get some readings in this dial gauge in this dial gauge clear and this water content is based on wet weight of soil therefore we again use this formula to cal we, we use this formula to determine water content based on dry weight of soil the next method is pyknometer method with the help of pyknometer we can calculate the water content in this pyknometer method we use one pyknometer clear we use one pyknometer first we de determine the empty weight of pyknometer and take this weight as w1 next fill this pyknometer one third with the wet soil and again note on the weight that is w2 next fill the water in this pyknometer and take that weight as w3 next clean the pyknometer and fill this pyknometer completely with the distilled water and take that weight as w4 clear but there is one condition here if you want to determine the water content by using pyknometer then the specific gravity of that uh, that soil should be known then only it is possible to calculate water content using this pyknometer method the g value of that soil should be known then only it is possible to determine water content using pyknometer method this is one condition using this equation we can calculate water content w2 minus w1 divided by w3 minus w4 into g minus 1 divided by g minus of 1 by using this equation we can calculate water content clear okay next test is specific gravity test the specific gravity test is conducted with the help of pyknometer or by using density bottle for coarse grain soil we use pyknometer and for fine grain soil we use density bottle clear and this is the formula to determine the specific gravity the procedure is same in both the cases in both the method by using pyknometer and by using density bottle method the method the procedure and even the equation is same here clear but this pyknometer is used for coarse grain soil and this density bottle method is used for fine grain soil now see this is our pyknometer this is our pyknometer and this is our density bottle and we will get different capacities capacity density bottle 50 ml capacity or 100 ml capacity so for fine grain soil we use density bottle and for coarse grain soil we use pyknometer uh, first take empty weight of pyknometer and take that weight as m1 clear next <coughs> take dry soil in this pyknometer take dry soil o1 dried or a dried clear in this spe specific gravity test i am telling take dry soil and add water and fill this pyknometer up to the top portion up to the top of this uh, conical flask and take that weight as m2 uh, sorry m3 take that weight as m3 this is m1 this is m2 only soil and container and next fill the container uh, fill this pyknometer with water and take that weight as m3 next clean this pyknometer and fill this pyknometer with water and take that weight as m4 now afterwards 
use this equation and determine the specific gravity clear here in this equation w1 w2 w3 and w4 is given you can use m2 minus m1 divided by m4 minus m1 minus of m3 minus m2 clear in instead of w you can take m here clear this is our specific gravity test in the next video we will see how to determine density density of soil thank you